show us the Sark Fault Duel. Uh, you know, good measuring stick. Uh, you saw them just a few weeks ago, um, and I know you were hoping maybe for a different result. But uh, you know, as you assess the duel, do you feel that they took a step forward, or you just want maybe your team could have done a little bit more? Yeah, I, th I mean, I think really the credit the credit goes to the University of Mary, and um, you know, we we won six matches out of ten. Uh, three weeks ago, and, and then uh, uh, this weekend we won only three out of ten. So um, they they were able to come in and win all the close matches. Really, uh, I think there was five matches that were all pretty close, and and they won all of them. So um, they just re really had more fight than us uh, on Sunday. Did the uh, lawn layover kind of help? I know. Uh, didn't get to wrestle for three weeks against somebody besides yourself. Do you think maybe? You guys were a little rusty going into Sunday. Yeah, maybe, um, <clears throat> and that's something you know we we challenged our guys. You know, we gave our we gave them a little longer break um, over the holidays than I think most teams do, um, and we challenged them to to make sure they they continue to you know get into the practice room and and use their time to to continue to get better and stay in shape. Um, so I don't really know you know if if uh, that was too long of a break for us. I know the University of Mary competed. A couple days before that, um, and, and kind of a, got got kind of a tune-up duel. <clears throat> so I, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm a little a little bit baffled as to why we um, came out so flat. We usually wrestle really well at home. Um, so it was just it was just disappointing. I think uh, <clears throat> after those first three matches, we just um, the kind of the wind was taken out of our sails a little bit there, and it was hard to get back going again. I know you're disappointed, but is this maybe a meet that I guess you can look at with the guys and go, look, this is what happens when maybe we don't wrestle like we know we can and whatever it may be? Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're going to, um, you know, the nice thing is coming off a tough loss like that, we, we get into kind of a non-conference schedule here for a while um, and, and kind of take the pressure off us a little bit and, and just just be able to go out there and compete hard and compete with intensity. Uh, we don't really know know much about our opponents here in the next couple of weeks, um, and so we just get to go out there and compete hard and, and focus on focus on that end of it and hopefully get back on track here right away. Yeah, what are your expectations for this team you're going to be seeing in Canada tomorrow? Uh, you know, we're going to go up and have some fun. Uh, we're we're wrestling completely. Di you know, we're wrestling freestyle, um, so the rules and scoring are totally different. It's something we're not really used to. Um, you know, uh, we, we focus so much on the collegiate style, of course, that um, it, it'll be a little bit different. But we're, I think we're excited about it and, and uh, kind of a change of pace for us here for a little while. Um, next couple of days of practice, we're going to be working, you know, for some freestyle stuff and trying to have some fun with it. Um, so basically, we're just, you know, my, my only expectations are that we go out there and compete with intensity and, and uh, you know, improve with just kind of our physicality out there a little bit. Yeah, is this like just the schedule you need though to kind of shake off that rust from that long break going uh, in this new format and then playing Jamestown? Yeah, I you know it's just kind of how the how these duels fell into our schedule, but it, it turns out it it's coming at a pretty good time for us um, to to be able to to see some different teams that you know there's there's not so much so much uh, you know expectations and and pressure on us. Uh, we we just get to go compete hard and have some fun. So we're looking forward to. Um, you know, getting back on the right track there. How about injury wise? How are you sitting there? Um, not great. Um, Mitch Isle, our heavyweight, we found out right before, uh, or two days before the, the duel with Mary, that he broke a bone in his hand. Um, more than likely, that's going to be the end of his season. Um, we're still uh, we're still hurt at, at 165 as well with Zach Cummings and Parker Osterman. Um, who, who were our two guys that were kind of in the lineup there earlier in the season. Um, so, you know, we've been, we've been going with some different guys there as well. Um, but, uh, you know, for the most part, we're doing all right. You know, there's always going to be some injuries this time of the season. What kind of void does he – I mean, he's one of your big wrestlers here on this team. I mean, Mitch. how do you either replace – I mean, what presence does he still bring when he's going to be out? Well, you know, he's a team captain, so he's a leader, and so he's going to kind of jump right into more of a coaching role for us, especially with our, our young heavyweights that we have right now. We're starting Jake Belland out of Watford City, um, and, and Jake's done a great job for us so far. You know, he lost a, 
a triple overtime match against Mary. Um, I thought thought he that was one of the one of the guys I thought wrestled pretty well for us there that night. Um, didn't did quite get the job done, but uh, we were pretty happy with how he has been competing for us. And um, you know, it's uh, wrestling heavyweight as a true freshman um, in this conference is not not easy to do. So uh, he's been fighting for us pretty hard, and, and so um, you know that that's who we're going to be kind of counting on here moving forward.